the best I've ever looked starting a weekly vlog potentially welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly vlog if you watched the end of last week's vlog you will know that I had a leaving party on Thursday evening which apart from like doing my job which I successfully managed to do which I'm weirdly impressed about yesterday was a write-off like we finished work on Friday at three I was asleep by four. I woke up for like an hour to eat some food and then I was back asleep again. So I've pretty much slept for like 14, 15, 16 hours or something stupid. Because it's now 10 o'clock. We've had loads of tea. We're getting McDonald's breakfast delivered, which is what we were considering getting, what, what I was considering getting yesterday. So it's a real healthy, healthy old week I've just had. <laughs> but I feel so much more refreshed. I wasn't necessarily hungover yesterday. I was just tired. Like it'd been quite a full on week. Here we are. So we're gonna eat McDonald's, which is gonna make me feel even more grim. And then because we're taking today very slow, I think I might have a bath. And let's roll on another weekly vlog. I'll give you one guess which side of my head I've brushed. <laughs> I've just had the most delightful bath in the entire world. Got my frizzy serum back in my life again. So this is going back in my hair. And as you know, gotta continue on the eyeshadow front. Most recently used the MAC palette by Have. So obviously this is just full of like random MAC shades I've collected over the years. I didn't photograph this because it was the most boring eye look. I've ever made but that's kind of what I love this for so next up in the eyeshadow collection we have the infamous Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette I feel like I don't use this anywhere near as much as I should considering how expensive this is so I'm gonna use this today this is my eyeshadow of choice but first things first I need to put the rest of my makeup on so yeah I this is the first proper face of makeup I've worn in a couple of days I was trying out a foundation in last week's vlog, which is the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I have low key become obsessed with it. It's really quite thick, so it's not particularly a like a light, easy foundation. In fact, it actually has quite similar texture to the It CC cream. So if this kind of like it's got quite a thick texture, this. So if you're not a fan, you probably won't like this but it has the most incredible coverage. And just in case any of you are wondering what else is kind of on my face, I've used the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Kit for my bronzer. And a bit of a Vive day today. So I've got the Vive Blush in Pesca and the Vive Highlighter in Bijou. And then I've used the lipstick that I feel like I've been using a lot recently. This is the Inner Masca lava lips in the shade vixen mine is a little, probably questionably old by this point but it's just the most beautiful color in the world that is my face just in case you wondered happy saturday or happy sunday because you're watching this well, whenever you're watching this happy day and yeah let's let's get cracking let's have another good week last week was shattering but it was great so it feels so good to be back out although am i the only person who finds it absolutely terrifying that face masks are gone as of next wednesday or thursday let's ace the weekend <laughs> I'm gonna go for a little explore and a little wander in Canary Wharf. It's literally opposite us by river sentence. We are gonna head over there and see what it has to offer. Plus, I mean, it's just a really cool part of London. From Canary Wharf. I picked up a few things while I was out. One of them is a new case for my iPad, reduced because I'm not paying £50 to buy a case for my iPad. I bought Mum 
an afternoon tea for two. Also got a card with my boots points because I have so many boots points. I bought something that if you are a long time follower of mine, especially on Instagram or on my blog, you'll remember I had this as my Project 10 Pan foundation last year and I used it up. It was in a shade that was way too dark for me. I got colour matched by someone in, I can't remember what beauty store it was, but I got colour matched with a shade that did not match me. And so it, I really struggled to finish it up, but I loved that foundation so much. So I bought one in my shade. It's the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. One of the best foundations in the entire world. They were the things that I picked up today while we were in Canary Wharf. Had a lovely, lovely wand around. I tried to pick up the Fenty Cream Bronzer, but it was out of stock. So that's still on my list. And that's kind of what I want to use the rest of my points for. But until then, they were the things that I picked up. I'm now in bed, as you can probably tell. I'm watching things on my iPad, which without the full on black case on, looks so weird. Time for bed, time to sleep, and I will speak to you guys tomorrow. We are leaving in like five minutes to go out for dinner, and I am ready. I used my foundation that I purchased yesterday. I've missed this so much. It's the Dior Backstage Face and Body. And then for my lips today, I'm very excited. I used the Revlon Colorstay Satin Ink on the inside of my lips and the NYX Lingerie XXL in Stamina. And then this is in Partner in Crime. And then like, just like rubbed my lips together. And I think it looks amazing and on my eyes i've used the huda beauty mercury retrograde palette and just used the shade hot mess and then on the lids is a bit of cosmic and supernova so looking super fresh very excited to head out having a roast dinner it's sunday cannot wait so excited and yeah had a lovely lovely lunch out we went to the greenwich tavern surprisingly in Greenwich the custom service I feel like I don't know what it is around this area but like we just got left alone for like an hour and a half I don't know what it is about around here I don't know if it's because it's a tourist trap obviously I appreciate that everyone's like knackered it was fine we were quite happy we were chatting away and when she came with the food she was more than apologetic and we were like it's fine it happens we're going out for a quiz tonight with a friend down the road I'm terrible at quizzes but I am there for emotional support <laughs> Welcome to Monday. It's a work from home day. I am, I'm starting to feel the ache from my late night Saturday workout. So a bit delayed, but here it is. I also need to do a workout tonight, probably, because I am busy pretty much most of this week. I'm also unusually tired. And I started watching the OA on Netflix. It's very weird and I can't work out if I like it or not. It's about a girl who goes to, who disappears and comes back. And it turns out when she was gone, she was in like some alternative reality and it's all a little bit strange. Um, my favorite one I think is Lychee and Rose. If you've not tried Tea Pigs Cold Brews um, since I was with my coach, like, ugh gym time. So as I've mentioned multiple times throughout these vlogs, trying to go to the gym twice a week. I feel like it's probably the most healthy yet realistic timetable. I watch a YouTuber, her name is Emma's Rectangle and she gave me a piece of, well not me personally, she gave her followers a piece of advice once that was along the lines of if you can't keep up the like the new healthy lifestyle that you have set for yourself like if it ever feels like too much work and it ever feels like something you can't keep going or it's too much work or i don't want to do this anymore then it's not something you're going to be able to integrate into your life 
I'm off to the gym. I've got my week four workout one. I'm very excited. So I'm gonna head off to the gym and I will speak to you guys later. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday. So I am all ready to go to Mamma Mia the party at the O2 today to take my test. So all good to go. I went for a blue eyeliner to kind of go with the blue. Every time I Googled ABBA makeup, blue was just like everywhere. So I went for blue eyeliner. Got my pom-pom earrings. They're from Levissa. This high neck ribbed, like thin knit jumper is from TK Maxx. So no idea where it's from. And then this jumpsuit I wear all the time and it's from New Look. So ready to go. Just gonna put on some shoes, head out the door, go to work first. <laughs> using this desk for work and so nothing is quite in the same place and it's really really throwing me but I mean that is a proper a proper first world problem if I was ever to hear one <laughs> today is now Thursday you have seen from last night's clips which I feel like kind of come in with no explanation I went to my at the party last night and I had the best time like literally the best time it's one of my clients, so obviously it's a show I work on, but oh my god, it's amazing. If you like ABBA and cheese and camp, it's like, it's amazing. I didn't go to see Moulin Rouge on Tuesday. I've actually moved my tickets to next week. So I will see that later, but I cannot wait for that either. That's going to be amazing. I came home via London Bridge, like I usually do, and stopped off at the WH Smiths in... London Bridge surprisingly to fill some time while I waited for my train and I feel like buying books and reading books are basically two different hobbies and I flit between the two sometimes I just love to buy a book and can't bother to read them and sometimes I read books but can't work out what I want to buy so I'm currently in the buying phase but I know I can always justify it to myself by the fact that I will eventually read them because I've read every single book I've ever bought. So I'm not going to stress about it too much. I bought two books either in last week's vlog or the week before. But I bought two more books today. One of which Alex really wants to read so the two of us can read it. And one of which there's like a series of books and I've always wanted to read one of them and there was just one there. So I bought it. The first one is June. This is obviously... Uh, major motion picture these days. I really love reading books that have been turned into films. I don't necessarily mind which way around I watch slash read it, but I really love comparing the story of the book to the story of the film. And it sounds like, I've never seen the film by the way. It sounds like a really, really cool plot. It's like in the style of like The Matrix and Star Wars. I just thought I would give it a go. So I've picked up this. This is the one that Alex is also going to read when I finish it. And then the other one is, I think it's a series. At least there's a lot of books with this kind of style of title. Excuse my French. But this is The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. The font is humongous. It's a relatively short book. Like it's only 200-ish pages. And I feel like I'm going to fly through it really, really quickly. Which I don't know why. When I fly through a book and I finish a book quite quickly, it like gets me back in the back into the mood to read books, like to like fly through books and I wanna like fly through more books. What I came on here to tell you about was I just finished watching a video by Hannah Elise, which is called Why Spend in a Week as a 22 year old living in New York City. London is obviously the England 
equivalent or even a UK equivalent of New York City. I feel like it's not quite as bad, but I mean, proportionally, it's pretty atrocious. And I thought for next week's vlog, I might kind of not do the exact same because a lot of my bills are shared with Alex. I don't necessarily want to like release to the world how much like he spends on his rent. But I thought I would kind of do a similar style of video and for next week's vlog focus on like on the other costs of living i feel like when i first moved here i was very much aware of rent um it's a hard topic to avoid when you're moving here but like things you don't think about like council tax and i just thought i would for a week of my life next week's a pretty standard week nothing particularly extravagant is happening I would just go through the week and tell you how much I spend on things. I'm not a massively high earner. I work in the arts, but I'm not necessarily the other extreme either. So if you're interested in that, stick around for next week. But welcome to my book haul, update and ramble. And I'll speak to you guys later. Done my gym workout and it is now Friday evening. So I've actually got a blister I don't know if you can see it there, just blow the ring, from being at the gym. I have, however, managed to go twice a week, every single week throughout January, which I think I will stick with the minimum of two, but next month, don't be afraid to have that third one if I so like feel, desire, have time, but don't put pressure on to do three. So I'm in the bathroom, as you potentially can tell, I'm gonna have a bath because it's been a busy night at the gym. I love to start the weekend with a bath. I don't know why, I just find it like a really relaxing way to like ease into the weekend. So I'm gonna do a like a really nice relaxing skincare and hair care bath. So for hair, we're looking at the Function of Beauty shampoo. I've also got the conditioner but I'm actually gonna use the Anika Flash Instant Shine Mask. I have barely used this, so I can't comment on how good it is. This, I I don't think it's the best shampoo and conditioner on the market. Like, I think there are better ones, but you cannot dispute how long these last for. And if you've got really like niche hair goals, I can imagine they're like next to like the best thing ever. I feel like because I am blonde and so therefore my hair is quite dry, and quite universally catered for. I've also got this, which I still haven't quite worked out if I like or not. It's the Christopher Robin Cleansing Purifying Scrub with Sea Salt. I used this in the bath last weekend and I'm not really sure what it did. For my face, I've got the Normal to Oily Skin Cleansing Gel from E Cooking and the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins. This is one of my favourite face washes of all time. It's amazing. I've also got the Lily and Loaf Luminescent Face Polish, which I was gifted. It's fine. I wouldn't say I would rush out and repurchase it, but it's, it does the job. For my face mask, I'm using the Esper De Clean and Green Detox Mask, which I am so far absolutely loving. And then when I come out of the shower, I'm going to use the, so I'm going to mix together the Soap and Glory Righteous Butter, which is an old school classic. And I've been mixing in with the body butter at the same time, the Nooks oil. So this is like a multi-purpose oil. I've used it on my hair and it was dreadful. <laughs> But I used this mixed with this the other day and it was absolutely delightful. Um, it's supposed to help with stretch marks uh, as well as like overall skin texture. So I've taken some of four photos. I'm gonna keep trying it and see if it actually makes any real difference. But this is how I'm gonna keep using it for now and seeing if this is the way forward for it. So that's a post bath um, situation. And I'm gonna welcome in the weekend like I should. So today is now Saturday, but I'm going to sign off this week's vlog and then swap over to the new memory card to start next week's vlog. But I hope you guys had a lovely week. I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog, a slightly quieter one, and I'll speak to you guys soon. Also, fingers crossed there's an extra video this week because I've got quite an exciting 
cult beauty order arriving any time today, which hopefully I can get filmed either today or tomorrow, edited and up for you. But yeah, I'll see you in next week's vlog.